He's got to go for it. Evans is in the lead of the race. And that makes it two podiums for the brothers, the brothers from New Zealand. Both racing here. On the streets of Monaco this weekend. So as kids, would you ever, after your wildest dreams, imagine that would be both racing here in Monaco on the same weekend? Nah, it's pretty crazy, right? Like, mm -hmm. watching it years ago on, on TV back in New Zealand, like, at stupid hours of the morning. It's incredible. It's cool for our family and pretty crazy. I'm living here now as well. I never thought that would ever happen. So Rome was pretty mega. Obviously, felt like it was such a cool feeling being in the pit after the race. Mitch Evans through the final corner to win the Romy Prix for Jaguar. I mean, obviously, for me, it was, it was amazing to, to get the first win, but it meant so much for everyone involved. You know, we, we're hungry for more. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for the hard work. Thank you, thank you. Because, you know, it, it took you 31 races to win a race for Jag, and it took me just one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks for Did you know that? Simon Evans about to make history by winning the first ever Jaguar I-Pace e-Trophy Series. Jaguar I-Pace. E Trophy Series has been, you know, super competitive. There's some, you know, really top level guys who have won lots of championships in the field. So, you know, go out there to win. But to actually do it was, was really cool. And I think it has surprised a lot of other people as well. And the win for Simon Evans. Right, you know, you've been driving the whole time. You jump out, I'll jump in. It's uh, time for me to have a drive. <laughs>